Bummer. A long time ago, no one could agree on a measuring system until a French scientist realized a simple solution. He measured and divided the distance between the North Pole and the equator into millions of pieces and called it the meter. If you divide the meter into 10 equal lengths, each of the lengths become a measurement of 10 centimeters. If you take that and make it a cube, it'll have the volume of 1 liter. Now, if you weight it, it'll come to be one kilogram. See? All the measurements are related. And now, these creatures will show you how to convert... Oh, wait! This isn't on the script! Uh, the food source! What will they eat now? There's more over there. What a relief! <laughs> what? A snail puppet? This doesn't make sense. What about metric converting? It's eating all the mushrooms? Who wrote this? D Timmy? Bob? No! Wait, an idea? Yes, yes, a bridge will do, yes! Oh, uh, where was I? Oh, oh yes, here we go. <clears throat> Metric converting is quite simple. You multiply or divide by 10. Or, here's a secret, just move the decimal point. For example, let's convert 5 meters into centimeters. How does that work? Well, getting from the meter to centimeter takes two steps. So that means you move the decimal point to the right, twice. And voila! Five meters equal 500 centimeters. Now, let's see if they finish the bridge. Well done! The bridge looks quite excellent indeed. Now, scurry along. That mushroom won't eat itself, you know. Oh, how could you? Oh, horrible. This is horrid. This is terrible. It's not good at all. This is ghastly. <laughs> and that was the day they realized they weren't vegetarians after all. Thanks to the metric system for being easy to use. In our next episode, we will measure volume.